So today I'm about to go out over the lakes region of New Hampshire in the mountainous areas just north of it to check out the ice conditions around the various lakes. Uh, from what I can see on the ground, it looks like ice is out on most of the lakes, but I suspect we're going to find some ice still in the various coves uh, in the back sides of some of the lakes. So follow along. So today I'm heading out over the lake, Lake Winnipesaukee, to uh, see how the ice conditions are. From what I'm seeing from where I live, ice is mainly out, though I think it's still in some of the back bay areas, and we're going to check that out today. It's been a while since I've been out flying in uh, my Cub. Uh, I've been doing a lot of flight instruction lately, and just haven't had the chance to get out in the Cub. Not to mention the weather has been pretty rough uh, the month of March. A lot of storms, wind, snow, etc. So, go take a look around the neighborhood, check how the uh, ice out conditions are occurring. All right, runway items here. Before takeoff, flaps, trim flaps where we want them. We're not going to put flaps on. Carpets off. Doors latched and closed. Transponder to altitude 1200. Nav lights on. Landing lights on. Runway mark is confirmed. Laconia traffic, Super Cub 816, Whiskey Romeo, departing 26. We'll be exiting the pattern to the north. Laconia. A little rough up here today, but not too bad. Should get some good views of the mountains, still white tip mountains out here to my north. Climbing over a thousand feet per minute. Now, Parkas Bay looks wide open. Lake Winnesquam, wide open. No ice in sight on those two lakes or areas. A couple ponds off to my left, so I have a skim coat of ice on them, what I can see. Nice getting out here today. Nice just to enjoy the scenery. Peace and quiet. Albeit it's a little <laughs> bumpy out here today. I'm looking out off my one o'clock and I'm seeing Lake Wakuan. Looks like there's a small sheen of ice on the southeast corner and a little bit to the northwest corner, but the main part of it is open. All of Meredith Bay is open. I was out here flying 7.30 this morning in a Piper Warrior, smooth as glass. Winds are definitely picking up here this after, this later on this morning. I don't know if you can see it so well, but right off my 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock.
Some of the tips of Sandwich Mountains are uh, still dusted with white snow. Right below me is Lake Wakawan. I can see and some ice on the southeast corner and a little bit to the northwest corner. I'm going to go up in altitude so you can see over Mount Washington. Maybe it'll get a little smoother too, a little higher up. Starting to see the tip of Mount Washington off my uh, one o'clock, two o'clock. So quite a bit of a squam, it's got some ice on it. The uh, eastern side covered in ice, which is not surprising. Winds are normally blowing out of the west here. I think you can see off to my left, a whole row of windmills over in Plymouth. Definitely got some bumps over here. Yeah, quite a bit of the uh, kind of Bay Area's swamp. Got quite a bit of ice on it. Yeah, Mount Washington's really lit up today. Beautiful. All white still. Probably will be for another month or two. Looking off to my right, over one of Saki. Looks like Center Harbor still has quite a bit of ice chunks in it. Up at 3,500 feet at this point. Probably level off here. You see Sandwich out in the distance, Ossipee in the distance. head over now to Winnipesaukee. If it smooths out here a little bit, like head east now, away from those mountains. And off my left, Mount Washington's lit up. So off to my two o'clock is Center Harbor. I can see the Mount Washington. Mount Washington ship, it anchored in, or I should say, at dock in Center Harbor. A lot of big ice chunks in Center Harbor. The bay itself, the Center Harbor's open up, but a lot of the ice, a lot of ice uh, just to the uh, east of it. But the main body of Lake Winnipesaukee is wide open at this point. Still looks real brown. No sign of green yet, but it'll be coming probably in the next couple weeks. So the north backside of Montbourg Neck, uh, there's a lot of ice in the um, coves on the very north side, but you get about halfway down uh, on the backside of uh, Montbourg Neck, and it's wide open right off by 12 o'clock. There's a cove right below me that's pretty much all iced in still as well. Take a swing over here at Mount Washington. Really good view of it right here. Off my 10 o'clock. Bring it right off my nose here in a second. There it is, beautiful. Put up nicely. This is what I jokingly refer to as Galt's Gulch. For some of you might know what that's about. But this little valley in here is just a beautiful spot. Surrounded by mountains. 
Gorgeous mountains, as you can see there. Back around the right here. Definitely some wind coming off these hills. Right off my nose is Castle in the Cloud. A couple golf courses, one off my uh, 9 o'clock, one off my 1 o'clock. Forget the names of them. One's, one of them is called Bridgewood. We'll get away from these mountains a little bit. Definitely feeling some waves rolling off of them as the wind comes from the west. A little bit of snow still in Gunstock Mountain or Gunstock Ski Area, which is in the belt maps. Right off my two o'clock is Long Island, Long Island Bridge. I live pretty close to that. And we have some more ice right off our 11 o'clock. Again, kind of locked into these kind of bay cove barriers. Uh, but again, the broads are wide open, the uh, main body of the water. So just off my nose is the town of Wolfboro. Uh, I think there might be Wentworth Lake off to the left. Uh, Mirror Lake might be in front of me. Those are the two names of those lakes. Maybe Ron. Uh, right off my right is an old um, airport, Wolf Pro Airport, grass strip, kind of out on an island, if you will. I'm not sure you can see it out there, but there is the Atlantic Ocean, probably about 30 miles, nautical miles from here or so, maybe more. Uh, but I can see it out there, a sliver of water shining out to the east. So I'm turning toward the town of Alton. Uh, it's interesting, you can see that line of ice, very defined, sharp line of ice. Uh, it's basically on the east, southeastern side of the uh, lake and winds all blowing up north, northwest must have jammed it up. A little smoother on this side of the lake. Beautiful day. So right off my nose is the uh, Alton Bay plane slash ice runway area. I was just on that about a month, month and a half ago. It's amazing how times have changed. All wide open here. Interesting, no ice jammed into this very narrow finger of Lake Winnipesaukee. Off my uh, three o'clock for the belt naps, you can see a little bit of gun stock. Mountain ski area there. I think they may be closed now. Might be the last weekend if they're even open still. Yeah, feeling a little bit of the bumps as that west northwesterly wind blows over those mounds, the Belknap Mounds. We're getting a little bit of a rough air. Looks quite dry, dry down here. Got these hills. See the forest below me. A lot of hardwood trees. No sign of leaves or buds yet. Not a lot of standing water. Not a lot of snow. So back side of Belk Naps or the south side of them. Again, a couple small lakes and ponds. Half of them got ice on them, half of them don't. Got to hold on here. Getting some major updrafts up to 3,800 feet. Now I'm getting downdraft. Power settings are not changing. Attitude's not changing. And I'm dropping 500 feet per minute at this moment. Wow, another nice view of Mount Washington out there. There's the city of Laconia right in front of me. Uh, it's a nice view. You can see all of Lake Winnipesaukee, Mount Washington, in the background, got Coney off my left, Bogus Bay, Winnesquam off my left as well. 
going to be a squirrely landing. Well, hopefully it's going to be a good landing, but some squirrely winds. Laconia traffic, Super W16, Whiskey Room, you're turning left base 26, Laconia. Laconia traffic, Super W16, Whiskey Room, you're turning final for a full stop, Laconia. Get ourselves lined up and get this airspeed down. Hopefully get a little bit calmer as I get below the tree line here. And yeah, let's put in that last notch of flaps. Definitely got some right cross on here. Well, that was situation around the lakes region in New Hampshire. Ice is almost out, but still probably have another week or two before it's all gone.